describe it. I don't have no idea what kind of genre. I still don't know what to tell my mum. So what kind of music is it? I'm like, it's like, um, it's all mixed up different kind of, I'm like, there's rapping and singing, but there's like drums and then there's like, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> You know, it's kind of a million miles away from like being in your bedroom, you know, two years ago, just just fucking around with samples, you know. But it's funny how kind of music just takes you a life of its own and it kind of takes you places you'd never imagine. Always had this idea that I wanted to mix up all my f sort of favourite kinds of stuff, whether it was, you know, noisy sort of sonic youth guitars. <laughs> Double Dutch chants. Charlie Brown piano. Car chase kind of horns. All my favourite kinds of stuff, and I, I just kind of sit about, kind of just jamming all these different sounds together. The live show is pretty, pretty goddamn shambolic, really. I mean, and that's how we kind of want to keep it. You know, it's swapping instruments. We've got kind of two drummers. We've got samples. We've got sort of thrashy guitars. We've got a gang of girls kind of chanting away. Keeping that element of chaos is kind of as important as anything. Really. All right, Lil Rapto here, and I'm with a member of my favorite new band. What's the name of your band? It's the Go Team. And what's your name? My name's Jamie. Jamie, where are you from? I'm from Brighton in England. Wow, what a great way you talk. Now you guys have an exclamation mark in your name. That's right, eh? Do you think punctuation is an important thing for kids to learn? Certainly, aye, definitely. It's, uh, it's vital for language. All right, now we're going to go back to the studio and dance to the Go Team! Yeah! Smashing together loads of different musical styles and um, making a noise. This bit that looks like a bomb um, with the emergency red button, that's a, uh, a spring-loaded switch, which when you're scratching the string there and pressing it, you'll get like a kind of, yeah, like a DJ sort of sound. I think we were in Seattle when we found out that we were nominated for the Mercury Music Awards and it was just crazy because it's like we didn't think it was going to happen. Arriving there was really weird. They kind of make you get into a little mini and then you drive like 10 metres down the road like you're getting out of the mini and stuff. And like no one knows who you are. No one knows who the hell we are, you know. Like who cares about us? But then you're on the red carpet and all of a sudden, oh, over here, over here, over here, over here. And there's like loads of people, 50 people in front of you, flashing and flashing and stuff and it's like... It's a really weird experience. It was just strange, really. Loads of music that I wouldn't normally have listened to. I reckon if I was at home, I'd have been like, what's all this stuff? Sort of. And then you're there, and you kind of appreciate it more, and you see the sweat that people are putting into it, and it's just it's a different feeling, really. I was quite surprised by how much I enjoyed it.
as a drummer, you know, I can still kind of hide behind the drum kit, so it's, it's not too bad. But being in front of the, the stage, it so, feels so different. hot sunny day and um, there were some kids in the park next door, it was like a fenced off area and there were like some black kids probably all like under 10 years old and the, the little kids were dancing and it's like they just had so much energy they were making up their cute little dance moves and you know, one will start doing a, a dance move and they'd all join in and stuff. We managed to talk to the little kids and say hey you guys want to dance on stage? Then we went on stage and um, the last song came and they were just behind me all in a row just kind of dancing and stuff. And then when I did a dance with they were copy it and, and it was just really good actually because there was little kids like little black boys with his little pot belly was like up to my knees and then there were other little girls as well in their baggy t-shirts and stuff and they were just dancing. You can only Yeah. 